Hello, my friends. We've been studying the story of Peter and the Wolf. You know that the flute plays for the for the bird. You know that the oboe, with that stuffy sound, plays for the duck. Do you remember that the oboe is a double reed instrument? Those two little bitty pieces of wood, we call them cane, tied together, we blow through it, it makes that really funny sound. We know that the cat, the instrument for the cat, is the clarinet. And we know that's one single piece of cane. And you are going to wait very patiently to hear the clarinet next time. And we even talked about grandfather. That was the bassoon, the really big bassoon. It has such a low sound, but it has the two little pieces of cane, the reed. And they're tied together. You blow through it. It makes a sound a lot like the oboes, only it's deeper because it's bigger. So today, let's learn about a couple more friends. Today, we're going to learn about Peter. Here we go. Listening map that follows gives you lyrics for a song about Peter that you can sing. Notice the high and low pitches of the music. Peter's a little boy, a little boy who skips along, he skips and he skips to the forest. Peter's a little boy, a little boy who skips along the streets and he song in the forest. In the next section, pause the movie and identify the dynamics, timbre, tempo, and pitch of the music. What do you think? Quiet, medium, loud? I'm going to say between quiet and medium. High, medium, or low sounds? It's kind of a trick question, isn't it? Because we hear lots of orchestra instruments playing and we hear a little bit of all, but mostly Peter's little melody, do, do, da, 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 that's a high sound. How about the speed? Slow, medium, fast? I think on that slow, medium, fast, I would have to say medium to fast, don't you think? Oh, I gave this one away. It's the string orchestra playing there. All right, that's Peter. Let's hear some strings playing Peter's song. When we hear that, it's definitely the high sounds, isn't it, friends? Okay. Let's learn one more character. Oh, look at there. Peter, played by the string family. Here are the hunters arriving. No saxophones playing. Good morning, Oh Street. no. Today is Thursday, April 4th. Special guest appearance by Mr. Winkle in our video. Can you tell I'm taping this in, in first thing in the morning? All right. So the instruments we hear playing. No saxophone, no clarinet. I don't hear that flute. I don't hear the bassoon. But I do hear this oboe playing. Hear that stuffy sound? Huh, we were right. So what the musical oboe instruments? Is wood or plastic. The oboe has a nasal sound made by the double reed, two pieces of cane that are tied together. What instrument do you think represents the hunter's rifles? 
Any guesses, friends? Any guesses before I go on? If you're thinking it's some sort of a drum, you're pretty smart. The timpani are large kettle drums played with soft mallets. There is a pedal on the timpani, and the player can tighten the head of the drum with this pedal. By raising and lowering the pedal, the player can play higher and lower notes. They call it a kettle drum because it looks like a really big soup kettle. Kind of a silly name. All right, so now, my dears, you are familiar with the hunters. We know when their, their little singing melody is played by the oboe, and we know when we hear the shooting of the guns, that's represented by the timpani. Okay, more fun next week. Please be great listeners today. Take care. Bye-bye.